London Fashion Week today and we're here to discover Oxfam and their amazing boutiques that they've just opened around London and discover some real ethical brands in particular Safia Mini from People True who really is positive news personified. So come and join us and let's have some fun. <laughs> This is the first time we've been here at London Fashion Week in the Aesthetica tent, which is all about promoting ethical fashion. Um, it's been really good for us. It's important because it shows the, the brand off and what we're doing in the field of sustainable fashion. And it gives us the chance to talk to designers and labels about um, how they can work with us donating um, materials and uh, uh, ends of lines and so forth for our work and restyling and, uh, and selling to the public across all of our shops. Oxfam has over 700 shops around the country selling a mixture of donated fair trade and, and, and other new products all to raise money for, um, for Oxfam's work in the field overcoming poverty. Um, this May we launched three new fashion boutiques and they are promoting sustainable fashion and the, the high fashion end of, of the work that Oxfam from does in trading. We have um, fair trade new products from people like People Tree. Um, we're also selling some products that have been donated to us that we can't sell in the shops um, straight away, but we give them to young designers from the London College of Fashion and other young commercial designers, and then turn it into fashionable on-trend items that are, um, that are sold in the shop at, at great high street prices and give you a really on-trend look from some, some old, um, sustainable fabrics. These great de dresses designed by Christopher Kane and Giles Deacon and um, shown that, um, that absolutely every Everybody is thinking about restyling these days. Hi, I'm Safia Mini from People Tree, uh, the fair trade fashion brand uh, based here in London and Tokyo. People Tree started 17 years ago in Japan. The idea was that fashion could be a tool for development, poverty alleviation, and environmental protection, and, and that's what every one of our garments embodies. Well, we work in 15 countries with about 150 groups. But mostly in Asia, we, we work with organic cotton farmers, we also work with hand weaving and artisanal groups. The idea is to maximise the amount of income that those groups can, can, can raise through producing garments and also how they can then reinvest the profits from fair trade into community development projects, into environmental initiatives and projects. Yeah, it's really exciting. Oxfam came to us because they were launching their sustainable fashion boutiques and as part of that offer, fair trade uh, fashion is, is obviously a key. Um, People Tree supplies the, the, the largest proportion of product there. So it's really exciting. It's lovely to have boutiques, you know, bang on the high street where you'd expect to find them. Hey guys, so yeah, an amazing feedback we've been having from all the people here at London Fashion Week about Aesthetica and about Oxfam and People Tree. It's fantastic, it's grown loads, loads more new suppliers and just really inspirational. Uh, you know, everything's organic, um, they're using a lot of recycled fabrics, it doesn't have to be from the high street, um, there's just as much going on in ethical fashion as, as the high street. This is definitely the way it's going and people are inspired by it and they are influenced by it and they are using it as a way of expressing themselves. And I thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a jolly good day. Thank you. So now you find us with Rita Hurais in Mudra, a wonderful ethical brand that has spirit as well. And I'm going to ask Rita to tell us all about it and also her recent award at the pret a porter in Paris. Can you tell us all about that, Rita? Well, I feel really honoured to be given the award and it's um, very interesting that everything around ethical conscious trading is now becoming recognised and people are seeking to um, look at something that's consciously made. I've designed it all based on the understanding of colour therapy. So it's all literally made by hand by beautiful Nepalese people and we sponsor an orphanage in Nepal. So everything's made to help a woman to feel really good about herself and express their inner beauty. So I'm the lucky woman who's going to go and have a colourful cashmere makeover. Well, what's your exact birth date? 23rd of July, 1967. Okay, so you're a Leo, early degree Leo. This colour, purple, would be a really good colour for you because it's, um, look at that, 
look at how this brings out your eyes and really brings out your skin tone. Purple is really high vibration spiritual colour and perfect for Leo's. It's just stunning. amazing what colour and fabric and how different it can make you feel. I feel completely transformed in my beautiful outfit. <laughs> made with the spirit of love and I believe that that's how we're going to help to transform the planet. So if you're going to make an investment it should be long term, it should be with respect to both people and the planet. It's about social, economic and environmental sustainability so it's fairly easy to, to put together outfits that really will not cost you a fortune but still keep you looking um, top of the label. But really you know having a sense of not only what looks good but also what feels good and what sits well with your, your own principles and values. So what a wonderful time we've had here at London Fashion Week and isn't it great to see the British Fashion Council getting behind ethical brands. We met with the wonderful Oxfam and learned all about their amazing boutiques so get out there and really think about how we can spend our money on fashion. It's about fair trade. So not only can you buy clothes to make you feel better but you can make fine clothes that are going to make a difference in the world.